Hi, today we're going to talk about anticoagulants. We talk about heparin, warfarin, prothrombin time, thromboplastin time, protamin, vitamin K, and bleeding. So, let's begin. When there is a site of injury, the platelets go to the site of injury. Chemicals like thromboplastin are being released. And thromboplastin is the one that will activate the prothrombin. That prothrombin will now become the thrombin and the thrombin will act on the fibrinogen to become a fibrin clot. This is the clotting mechanism. But there are drugs that stop the clotting mechanism. Like what? The drug that stops the development of prothrombin activator. It stops thromboplastin from developing prothrombin activator. And what is this drug? This drug is known as heparin. So when we give heparin, we check the thromboplastin. And that's the reason why we check the PTT or partial thromboplastin time. However, there is a drug that acts on the prothrombin. So that drug is known as comedin or warfarin. When we give comedin or warfarin, we check the prothrombin time or the PT. After all, it acts on the prothrombin. Now, we know that heparin is very important. And when we give heparin, we check the APTT or activated partial thromboplastin time. So speaking of time, how many seconds is the APTT? Well, the answer is 30 to 40 seconds. That is the normal APTT. The expected value, however, is 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal. Again, the expected value is 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal. The indicator of effectiveness of heparin therapy is that if the APTT, which is 30 to 40 seconds, is 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal. Now, in order to appreciate this, we have to go to this one. A client undergoes heparin therapy. Which of the following indicates that heparin therapy is effective? The APTT is 15 seconds, 35 seconds, 60 seconds, or 120 seconds. To answer this correctly, you have to go back to the normal value, which is 30 to 40 seconds. Now, you're going to be tempted to answer B because it's within the normal APTT, but that is not the correct answer. Why? Because the expected value is 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal. So it couldn't be 35 seconds because it's within the normal range. It has to be 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal range. So the best answer to this, it is 60 seconds. Because it is twice the normal range, if we're going to talk about 30 as the baseline. And here's another example. If a client is undergoing heparin therapy and partial thromboplastin time is two times the baseline, what is the appropriate nursing action? So, is it A, continue heparin at the same dose, B, notify the physician, or is it C, discontinue heparin, or is it D, reduce the dose of heparin? Now, in order to answer this question again, you have to remember that the expected value of APTT is 1.5 to 2.5 times the normal. Hence, this is 2 times the baseline, it is part of the expected value. The best answer is letter A, continue heparin at the same dose. How is blood extracted? Well, venipuncture is the answer. Next question is, when is the blood sample drawn? The answer, one hour before the next heparin dose. And can blood samples be drawn from the site of heparin infusion? The answer is solid no. Now, what happens after? Well, what happens after is that there must be pressure that is applied to the venipuncture site three to five minutes. That's very important. What happens in heparin overdose? D stands for bleeding, bruising, balance, maybe lost. So how do we reverse overdose? We make use of a drug and that drug for heparin, remember heparin, letter P, heparin is protamin sulfate, shown here. Okay.